Hi, welcome. Within this upload, once again, I'm going to show you how this code is something special. We're not even long after the previous upload, only, what, 24 hours ago, and this upload you just cannot miss. Within the upload itself, it's going to centre around the reptilian situation in terms of shape-shifting, or rather, the hoax of shape-shifting, because a lot of people have basically not allowed the full explanation to how all this actually ties in to the Freemasons. So, as I said, within this upload, I'll bottom that out for you and you will not be disappointed. So, here we go. As you see here on the screen, we have truth in movies and lies in the news. And that is exactly it, except don't expect to get the full truth in a movie because it won't really be a movie. It will be a, a proper documentary for that. However, in movies, you will get snippets of truth or even maybe up to 50% of the truth. So as I'm going to delve through now, you can see that we have Thames Production, CNN and Fox, even Britbox, which I covered a few years ago. Uh, we also have the BBC ITV and as an extra one we also have ITV this morning but the whole point here is that when you actually see this part here with Newsweek and you see it news brand newscasts news lies and news wire and obviously when everybody looked at the Covid was he really the saviour no, he was not, because that is exactly on the next screen here, which you will see as I've put out on most of my endings, where you see what Franklin D. Roosevelt really says about politics. And again, just to confirm a little bit more about Joe Biden, who's fighting for his life, who really shouldn't be in the position of going for president, shouldn't have even been president, in my opinion, is that he's also part of the New World Order, as you see. So like I said, we're talking about the actual reptilian situation and this actually centres around David Icke back in 2016. So it's some seven years ago, it's actually just a few months before I even launched any of my YouTube channels at that time and I was already having lots of information. So within the cast itself, we have Andrew Neil, we have Liz Kendall and Michael Portillo. And when I went through each one, just before I go on with the upload, you'll find that Liz Kendall, her full name is Elizabeth Louise Kendall, but Elizabeth, as everybody will know, more relates to the late Queen. But you also see there at the top, elitism, as in this is what it's all about within the world itself. Next, you can see, no surprise, that we have Andrew Neil highlighted and you can also see that I've got journalists already. We've done journalists before with the likes of Boris Johnson. Again, Johnson also code 33 if people want to know that. Um, but again, it's actually, surprise, surprise, we have Andrew Neil fully code 33, hence why he is one of those people who will do his best to corrupt the truth in terms of being paid by the state broadcaster to make sure that the truth will be concealed. So before I go any further and wrap up this upload, there will be a seven minute segment where you're going to actually see David Icke speak. Please just take your time and actually watch the segment. And then after that, I will confirm further things. Take a look. Would you describe yourself as a conspiracy theorist? Well, um, I look at what officialdom tells us is happening and check it out. And if you can back that up with information, it's not a theory. And there are situations where you think, I think this could be this, or it could be that, that, that could be happening, that's a theory. But much of it is backed up by hard factual information. And interestingly, when you look at the dictionary definition of the very word conspiracy, uh, we're drowning in them. What, what, one is the action of plotting or conspiring. I mean, that's happening all the time. Give me multiple... an example of a conspiracy at the moment. Well, um, 
ironically, we've had George Osborne this week um, trying to ridicule conspiracies involving mm. the EU by likening them to believing in the Loch Ness Monster. And in the same week, we've had the Daily Mail exposing the Prime Minister for conspiring, in effect, with big business to frighten the public into staying in the EU, while publicly to Parliament as well, saying that um, he would come out if the negotiations, renegotiations didn't work. That's a conspiracy. Is that a conspiracy or is it just politicians uh, doing the time-honoured thing of being less than honest with us? Well, if you're telling the public that you will uh, have the option of coming out if you do not renegotiate with the EU the way you want. Mm. And you then, you don't do that. And at the same time you're telling the public and parliament that, you are um, working with big business behind the scenes already to frighten the public into staying in, even though your renegotiation's not, not finished. That is a conspiracy to mislead the public. What other conspiracy should we worry about? Well, what um, we're looking at uh, all the time are conspiracy after conspiracy coming to light, while the idea of conspiracy and the, the very word conspiracy is demonised. For instance, we have a situation with this Chilcot inquiry where um, we're going to see, indeed the information has already come out, that the Prime Minister uh, of the time, Tony Blair and George Bush and, 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 and the administrations, lied to us to justify an invasion um, of Iraq. And that is a, a conspiracy that has cost the lives of staggering numbers of people and created uh, an ongoing catastrophe that's still going on. And let's not forget this, the very same people, not just the same agencies, the same people that uh, told us there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq when they knew they weren't, those very same people gave us the official story of 9-11. And what the mainstream media so was, is was doing... was 9-11 a conspiracy? Of course it was. Who when, was when, behind it? Well, what was behind it was... No, who was behind it? Well, again, in the time we've got here, it's very difficult. But there is a network that works through... Um, government agencies through organizations like the CIA, etc., to push an agenda on the world which is unfolding by the day. My books in the 1990s laid out what this agenda was, and those books are now being read on the television news in changes in, in, in society and laws coming in. Okay. And, and, and the thing is, this is the point the mainstream media has accepted that those characters, those same characters, lied about Iraq, but will not question in any way the same people's version of 9-11. They're journalists, it's their job. But do you still think the royal family were shape-shifting lizards? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. And you also want us to believe 9-11 is a conspiracy? Uh, uh, yes, but the Doesn't point... Doesn't that, that rather undermine... I mean, well, no, it I doesn't. can see the point that you might have some uh, question 9-11, but if you also think... That Buckingham Palace is inhabited by lizards. It kind uh, of undermines but it's not it. that. It's not that simple. It's a whole big backstory before you you get to to um, uh, what what I'm saying. If you if you deliver it in one line, oh, you know the world's run by reptiles. It, it, you you meet it on one level. Oh, that's crazy. Immediate reflex action. But when you oh, see the crazy. when you see the backstory and the evidence to support this ancient and modern, it, you, you see that uh, one line, yeah. throwaway line, um, in a completely different context. All right, let me bring in that, that. Have you ever believed in a conspiracy theory, Liz? No, I haven't, but um, I think David Aronovich is really interesting on this because he, he says that sort of paradoxically we kind of, we keep obsessing about conspiracies because somehow it's, it's actually reassuring to think that there's some great some network or, or some purpose <laughs> when in fact the world is chaotic and random and terrible things happen and we Iraq was just a horrib horrible foreign policy head, mistake and we can't get our heads around it you see as a journalist I would love to believe in conspiracy theorists because they're much better stories but almost everything I've ever investigated it turns out cock up is a better explanation than conspiracy Yes, I know people put a lot of work into conspiracy theories but I, I still think they're actually intellectually lazy um, I, I think, you know, people just 
don't want to get their head around the way things really work. That having been said, I mean, let me say firstly that you know, a lot of people are gullible about conspiracies. I mean, I think the police were extremely gullible about the Downing Street paedophile ring, as it turns out. And on the other hand, let's maybe, I'll just end my comment with this point. There clearly was a conspiracy over Hillsborough. And over 28 years or whatever it was, people denied there was a conspiracy, but there was. My last book before the present one is 1,000 pages. Have you read any of my books? No, I haven't. How do you know that it's intellectually lazy? I wasn't talking about you, actually, No, David. no, I, no, I, no I, I, I you think, were uh, talking about me, because that, that's what I do. How do you know... No, I meant mem members of the public who immediately latch on to a conspiracy as being the most reasonable explanation of a perfectly simple situation, I think are intellectually lazy. How that do we know point. you're not a conspiracy to make us all believe in conspiracies? People must believe what they like. See, this is the simple thing. It's ever so simple. You look at information and you make a decision on what you think of it. But if no one is investigating what um, governments and authorities are saying with a view to whether it's true or not, then what uh, chance have people got to, to see information um, that they can then make a decision on? All they're getting is the mainstream uh, repeat, repeat, repeat version of everything. Right. Well, I mean, in my uh, career, everything I know has been investigated and we go by the facts. Just very briefly, what are you up to these days? i um, uh, just got a new book out called Phantom Self, and I'm going on a world tour um, well, all over the world. We're and glad you uh, that's, in. That, 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 no, that we're shows out of time. how many people we're glad you are looking at this. As in before you go on that world. Okay, so there you just saw the segment where basically Michael Portillo tried his best not to be embarrassed as he was already embarrassed and everybody else. But as you see in the picture here, we have conspiracy and the whole meaning of it, or alleged meaning, dependent on which dictionary you actually read. And in reference more to it for people, it's actually going back to the 1960s, where we have here the Warren report in terms of the JFK hit, and you can actually see the actual deep state's main concern as encountering the criticism of that report. And again, all this saga about the reptilian well, as you see on the screen, scrolling across with all the reptilians passing by, it's no surprise that actually within itself, reptilians is code 33. That's why when he's trying to explain, please don't jump to conclusions if you wait and see the deeper, fuller picture, which I am myself, the truthologist, showing you now. And again, in terms of the whole conspiracy theory and what it all is and what it isn't, well, really, I'm about to explain it even within the code. I mean, in terms of miracles, as I covered with the last upload about the River Jordan, we also have here the seven wonders of the world coming in at code 33. But that's not the actual point. The actual point is that within itself, life is one big conspiracy comes in at code 33. And to really quickly touch on that in terms of what it all is for ourselves in terms of conspiring against each other, it's not as simple as that unless you are obviously very deceitful or you really are just ruthless. Because really in terms of this picture here where you see the alien breeds, we're all alien breeds. If I can just keep it simple, we all at one time may well have been, let's just say, alienated. But my main point here is that Aside from the fact that alien breed itself is code 33, it's more to the point that in terms of vying for bigger positions in your job or in your profession, you will be conspiring to get ahead of the next man. So as I said, aside from the corruption and the rubbish that we have to live with, or technically we don't have to live with it, we can actually do something about it. But in terms of just the general holistic point of conspiring, well, somebody will always be trying to get ahead of you and sometimes they will use more devious methods to do so. Also just touching on the long book that David Icke mentioned, well I actually just bought a copy of this book which is my first purchase of any of his products and there it is there on the screen, The Trigger it's called and it's around 908 pages. I haven't actually read it yet myself, I will do that maybe before the end of the year when I have time. But like I said, we're not quite finished yet, and actually I'm now going to end on David Icke himself. So what is it so special about this guy that actually has very accurate information in terms of 
what his many books have explained and are now being bought, albeit not necessarily in your normal high street stores like Waterstones or that. You may well have to go to his website to actually buy them. But actually, when I then put his name in my magic book, or rather my black box, because it's so big with all the information, you can see astonishingly here, we have all the Davids that I've managed to put out other than the next line below. And you can see we have, as I covered only in the last upload, David Attenborough. You can even see there, we have David Rockefeller. Then there you have it, David Von Eyck and himself, Code 33. And you can even see I've highlighted deliberately there for all the people who are trying to turn the tables against the corruption, it is almost certainly like David versus Goliath. And you can also see there at the bottom there, David Jason. And as I said, he also had his name changed to make it to whatever name he had chosen in the Actors Guild that he was almost certainly either asked or made to do. And that is how, as I said, I've managed to break down so many people in the industries all over the world. Once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this upload and I will hopefully have the next upload within the next few days. Thanks. Listen, you're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Everybody be cool. You be cool.